What is going on guys? My name is Sam or Chaotic and welcome back to another live stream. Today we of course are going to be showcasing the three secret and hidden cars which were added to GTA Online in the Finance and Felony update but aren't available right now in game. Those three vehicles are the Grotti Prototipo, this vehicle right by here in front of me. Then on the left hand side we have the Dubaki 770 and on my right hand side then we have the Fista 881. So in this video I'm going to showcase all three of these cars, customize them, drive them around and just have some fun with them. So hello to everybody who has tuned into the live stream. I hope you guys are doing well. I think first of all we're going to start off with the Grotti Prototipo. This one right by here I'd imagine will be most people's favorites car. Now, we actually have some information about this car in the game files. According to uh, information, this vehicle right by here, the middle one, the Grotti Prototipo, that is going to cost $2,700,000. Like I said, it's not available to purchase just yet, although it's in the game files sometime in the coming weeks, maybe in some form of up-and-coming update, maybe some uh, special event weekend, something like that, these vehicles will become available. But Right now, this vehicle, according to the information, like I said, is $2,700,000. Uh, then we've got this one over here, the Dubaki 770. This one right by here is going to be almost $700,000. And then the Fista 881. Uh, off the top of my head, i got to remember this one. It's around about $1.2 million, I believe. So I might be slightly out with that one, but don't quote me. It's around about that. But uh, all three of these supercars, uh, well, super and sport cars, because the Dubaki is a sport car, of course, uh, they are just such awesome-looking cars. Anyway, so uh, let's get into the Proto uh, Tipo first of all, and we'll drive this one around. So all three of them right now are uncustomized. I'm going to drive this one down to the custom shop, get it customized, have a quick drive around to show off some of the customization options to give you guys an idea of what this car will be like once it's available in-game. But uh, hello to everybody who has tuned into the live stream. Hope you guys can uh, well see the gameplay, um, hear me okay, hear the game volume. Uh, usually when I'm live streaming, we got some form of problem going on. But uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who has tuned in. I love you guys. We've been streaming now. This is my third day in a row. And uh, trust me, guys, live streams are extremely tiring. If you guys have any questions about these three cars, I will do my best to answer those questions. We have very limited information about these available to us right now. Literally all we have about these are the cars themselves, as they're in the game files. Uh, we know some of their speeds, like this one right here, the Grotti Prototipo, is supposedly going to be the new fastest supercar in-game once it becomes available. And of course, we also have their prices too. So let's very, very quickly drive down to the custom shop. Uh, this, by the way, the reason why I've got this in-game, or basically how I've done this, is using mods. Uh, this is on the PC. These aren't available in-game, like I said, numerous times now. Uh, but they should be sometime very, very soon in the coming weeks. So if you guys have any thoughts and feelings... Uh, just about these cars as the live stream is going on. Leave a comment, why not? And uh, I want to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, but out of the three cars, I might as well just say it straight away. I myself love this one the most. It just has that very bizarre and crazy look to it. Like, it just looks insane, but awesome at the same time. Although I feel like it's one of those cars, there'll be some people out there that don't really like it that much. They might say, I don't know, it's ugly or it's, it's not really for them. But honestly, for me, just the... The look on this one, just how it is in general, is amazing. I just can't even describe it. Uh, somebody asked, what car is this based upon? I actually don't know. Um, I don't think it's based upon just one car. There's like several different ones in there. Uh, someone did tell me yesterday, I think, in, uh, in a video that I made, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I do apologize. Okay, we are down at the custom shop. Now, this car has a few customization options available for it. Uh, not a huge amount, but let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and upgrade the armor first of all. I love the wheels, by the way. Those are really, really cool. Uh, brakes. Then we're going to go to bumpers. Okay, so we've got uh, four different options, including the stock bumper. So we have the primary color splitter, which, of course, just adds this splitter around the base of the bumper. The secondary color, and that, I believe, is white also, so it's not going to look any different. Or we've got the carbon one. So right now, I'm going to leave it on primary. 
But uh, I might change the secondary depending on what that looks like. I think surely this stripe down the middle should be the secondary. So I'm not really too sure why that's not changing color. But who knows? I guess we'll see. So I've left that on the primary color bumper. Let's go to engine and upgrade that. Exhaust. Okay, we've got one option here. So these are already pretty cool. Uh, but the option we've got basically puts us like a split down the middle. Uh, I myself actually prefer, by the looks of things, the stock one. But the quad race exhaust, uh, again, is... Uh, pretty cool, nevertheless. There's no point in doing horn because uh, this is only story mode. Uh, headlights, let's go ahead and put the xenons on. I don't know if I should do the uh, neon kit just yet. Uh, plates, now the plate is right by here. We've not got one in the front of we. Nope, just by here. We may as well go and make that black if the panel by here is black. But as I explained in yesterday's live stream when I was customizing some of the... Was it yesterday or the day before? I was customizing some of the Finance and Felony update vehicles. If only we could change the color of the text, because obviously we're limited to just yellow. But if we could make it maybe white so we could go with a paint job, that would be really, really cool. But I don't think Rockstar will make that change anytime soon. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and, you know what, we'll do the respray last. So we can sort of choose a color based upon all the customizations on it. Um, skirts, so we've got the primary color one. Uh, where did that go? Oh, it's right by here. It's only a small one. Then we've got the secondary one and a carbon one. So just like the front. Uh, not a huge difference, but we will go ahead and fit that anyway. Uh, spoiler, okay, so right now, unfortunately I couldn't uh, show that off because I completely forgot. But basically when you brake, uh, this here, this panel, uh, lifts up, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I saw a video on that. So this panel does tilt as you brake. But if we look at the different options, we've got a GT wing here, which uh, just makes this car look even more crazy, especially with these uh, panels by here. And we've got the enhanced GT wing, which basically puts the uh, the sides on. And then we've got the race wing, which uh, seems to be very similar again. Obviously a different style. And we've got these sort of cables here. I myself, I'm going to go with... Uh, actually, I'm going to go with the enhanced GT wing. I'm not really a big fan of the race wing. Uh, obviously, this is just a slightly improved version with these uh, panels on the side. Although, to be honest, I think it looks just as good, if not better, without the spoiler at all. We've already got this bar by here, so... Um, I guess it's going to come down to your personal opinions, but I myself am going to select this one for now. Okay, suspension, let's lower that all the way down. It hasn't moved too much. It's actually pretty weird to uh, actually see this by here. We've, we, you can see the um, the tire exposed. Usually you'd have like a, a fender or a mudguard or something, because if we were going to drive off-road, mud would flick up. But obviously this is uh, not fully based off a real-life car. And if it is, it might just be some form of track car. Uh, transmission, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Turbo, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, wheels, and I myself love these so, so much. I don't think I'm going to upgrade these. And because they've got the, the red line around them too, and we've got these sort of red streaks down the body itself, I am not going to go ahead and do that. But what I will do is put bulletproof tires on. They're already on. And tire smoke, let's do, let's do red because we've got the red stripes. Uh, red. Have we got red brake calipers as well? We do. Okay, awesome. So that will look extremely cool. And of course, finally, we want to put on the uh, limo window tints. So let's go back to respray, like I said. Let me go through all the colors to show you guys what options we've got. Uh, by the looks of things, uh, trim color, we can change that too. We can't do that on all the... Oh, uh, a certain... Uh, yeah, a certain color. So we can actually change uh, the stripes down the car. So, oh shit, yeah, and we can do the, the wheels too. I didn't realize that. Okay, we'll come back to that one in a moment. Let's go through all the primary and secondary colors first. Uh, metallic as per usual. Uh, so, by the looks of things then... Oh, I see how the secondary color works now. So, we have this uh, stripe down the middle of the car. We can't actually change that. So, unless that is, of course, the ascent color. No, it wouldn't be. Uh, maybe it's trim color or something. Oh, we'll have a look in a moment. Uh, okay, but we're going to go through all the primary ones. So these are the sort of black and silver ones, which doesn't look too bad to be fair. We've got red, which is also a pretty good color. Uh, we've got the oranges. Let me know what you guys think of the colors. Uh, let me know which one you guys think I should select. I do like the white and red theme. I think that is pretty cool, so I might stick with that. But uh, there are a few colors this car will look good in. I think it'll probably look good in just about every color. Right now it might look too special because I've already got this, uh, the secondary here and the uh, the red sections, but we can change that as it turns out. Uh, ultra blue. I can see this color can get ultra blue too. So you know what? I'm going to put this into ultra blue. Let's do it. 
Secondary color. Let's do ultra blue on that one too. So it's nice and bright. Ultra blue. There we go. We'll change the uh, ascend color or accent color, however you say that one. Now, what should we share, uh, set this one to? I think white might look good. So scroll down to white and take a look at that. Have I gone past it? Where is white? Or is white not an option? Uh, oh, there we go. Ice white. There we go. It's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, one of you guys suggested I go with black and gold. For this type of car, I just don't think black and gold will be that good. Someone said red. Go for red. I'm feeling the ultra blue. I don't know about this ice white, though. Let me just select maybe a different color. Ooh, I can see the lamb green. If we had um, black as the, uh, the primary and secondary, this lime green would be really, really awesome, to be fair. Unless maybe I just go for another blue. Maybe something darker. Maybe a darker blue than the uh, the ultra blue that we've got on there right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the diamond blue. So it's not quite white. It's a little bit lighter than the ultra blue. Uh, but we'll just let that for now so I don't waste your guys' time. Uh, and then for the interior color, we'll just go for a nice ultra blue too. So this car is maybe a darker color. I don't know because we don't want too much brightness, of course. But we'll have a look anyway and see what it looks like. Light blue. Oh, you know what? We'll just select ultra blue for now. That'll do. And, uh, yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and put the uh, the neon kits on too. Uh, so we'll do front, back, and sides. And then we will select electric blue. So there we go. That is the Grotti Proto Tippo, fully customized at the custom shop. These are all the customization options that will be available for it once the vehicle is available in-game. When that is, of course, we don't know yet, but I'm sure we'll find out in the coming weeks on the Newswire. So, let's back out of the custom shop and take a look at this thing in the daylight. Oh, damn. This car is such a good-looking car. I love it. Oh, yeah, we didn't change the uh, the tire smoke because we've still got red on there. Let me go ahead and change that to blue, and then we'll continue on. Uh, somebody asked, how did you get these in-game? Uh, right, basically how I've managed to do this is using mods on PC. So I'm in story mode, this is not online, I've basically spawned them in to try them out. They're already in the game files, so uh, we can do all that on PC. Okay, oh wait, no, it was tires, wheels, there we go. Uh, we'll change, is it tires you go to? I've completely forgotten now. Uh, tire smoke, there we go. Uh, let's select, we got light blue there? No we don't. Okay, blue will have to do the job for now. Although it's going to be the wrong shade of blue, I will just select that one. There we go. Uh, let's pull out and uh, take a look around this car with all the customizations on. Loads and loads of you guys are asking, is this car available right now? No, it is not available right now. I did explain that. But look at that car. And this, the gold wings we've got on this car too are pretty cool. Let me see if I can open up the other side. Without, uh, oh, no, 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 don't get in. I knew that was going to happen. I could probably use, maybe the, the mod menu I've got will let me open them, because for some reason, this one's playing up. Options, and then we will go to, where are doors? I know there's an option to do it, if I can't find it straight away, I'll just give up, and you guys will get the point. It's got some really awesome gold wings, basically. Uh, somebody asked, again, how much is this vehicle going to cost? It will cost $2,700,000, which will make this the most expensive vehicle in-game, but for that, you get this awesome-looking beast, and uh, it's also going to become the fastest vehicle in-game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I couldn't find the option, so there we go. I'll just leave that door open. But let's go into first person, take a quick look around this car, and just look how low this thing is. I know I've lowered the suspension, but it's Probably about two inches off the ground. It is so, so low. But look at that. It is so awesome. It's a shame we couldn't change uh, that license plate to have maybe uh, black and then ultra blue writing. That would be so awesome. But this car, generally, guys, is my favorite out of the three vehicles I will be showcasing in this video. And I know loads and loads of you guys will probably agree with me on that one. But uh, once we've gone through all of them, I will, of course, cast a vote in the comment section. And you guys can tell me which one you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and store this in Franklin's garage so we can take a look at it later. I always forget to do that, but we should have enough space in Franklin's garage to do that. So let's drive all the way down there right now. It's a shame that these vehicles weren't included in the Finance of Felony update because I'm going to have to say, although we had some really cool vehicles such as the FMJ and the Reaper, I do prefer 
Uh, well, especially this one. I do prefer some of these to some of the new ones. But you guys know Rockstar. Oops. You guys know Rockstar. They like to continue adding content into the game without physically releasing another update. So, as I mentioned before, these three vehicles will most likely be released in some form of up-and-coming update. Only a small one, maybe some form of special event, something like that. A bit like we saw with the Halloween DLC. That was included in the Lowriders update, so... It could be the same scenario with this one. Or, of course, just like with the Lowriders Custom Classics, uh, each week, maybe next month, we'll be receiving some of these. So I guess we'll have to wait and see and find out what rocks I have in store. Uh, let's enter the garage. Uh, someone asked, what's the interior like? Very, very good question. Uh, let me just hop back into the car and show you guys that. I've completely forgotten to do that. You can see at the front, right by here, is like suspension. So it is a very cool looking car from the exterior. But let's take a look at the interior. Okay, so nothing too special. We've got sort of bucket seats. Uh, we got these sort of uh, grab handles for, for door releases. Uh, computer system by there. I don't think it's similar to anything we've got available in game right now, this interior, but do correct me if I'm wrong. The view though is so, so limited in front. Look, we've got such a small gap for a windshield. Uh, someone said maybe they'll be released for July 4th. I've got a feeling that won't be the case. That might be the case, but they don't seem to be American Independence Day theme style vehicles, so I've got a feeling that the Cunning Stunts update is more likely going to be in that update, or for that update, but I guess we'll have to wait and see, guys. I, I don't know, because we don't have that information available to us right now, but we will find out soon enough, I'm sure. So, there we go. I sold one vehicle. Let's spawn in the next one. I'm going to do the um, Fista 881 next, because uh, this is a, another really awesome car, in my opinion. One of my favorites, uh, which is in the game files right now. So let me spawn in the Fista 881. And there we go. So this, of course, Fista being based upon Porsche. Uh, apparently it's based upon, or mainly based upon, uh, the Porsche 918. But it's also got some very similar features to the uh, Porsche Carrera GT. Uh, either way, I think it's a really cool car. And I don't think we've actually seen um, any Fista vehicles in updates before, but I could be wrong, like don't quote me on that one, we've had huge updates uh, over the past few uh, months and years of course, and I think there's been something like 20 updates, so uh, I could be wrong, we've received something like 120 new vehicles and updates, so I'm sure one of those might have been a Fista, but our uh, comments right now are actually very very mixed. Uh, someone asked how much is this vehicle, I believe this one is just under $1,200,000. Uh, it's either going to be in the sports or supercar category, but we'll find out right now when we drive inside the Los Santos Customs. I think it's going to be in the supercar category, but with it being a Fista, it might be uh, a sports car, so we'll find out soon enough. The car sounds pretty generic to be honest, so we'll a quick drive around the custom shop, enjoy the car as standard. Uh, now, I think this car out of the three has the least number of customizations, but we'll soon find out. Like, uh, the previous one, the uh, the Prototipo, that didn't really have that many customization options. I think it was a few front bumpers, uh, exhaust option, and there were three splitter options. Oh yeah, plus spoilers too. Uh, but nothing too crazy. You know, no hoods, no roof options, nothing like that. So. Uh, this one does have a roof because, as you can see, it is a, uh, a convertible uh, drop-top thing. Oh, did it just say it was a supercar? I wasn't actually paying attention. Let me just uh, pull out and take a look around. Uh, yeah, pull out, turn around, and go back in and, and take a look. I keep getting the same comments over and over again. Where have you got these cars from? These are in the game files. They aren't available right now, but they will be very, very soon. Okay, it's a supercar. So I was right. Okay, so it is going to be a supercar. Let's go ahead and start upgrading it right now. Brakes, let's make those race bumpers. Okay, so we got both front and rear options. That's good. More than the previous one. So I must be wrong. This car must be the most customizable out of them all. So it must be the 770, which is least customizable. So let's go through them then. Uh, painted front bumper. That appears to just uh, paint the, the black panels down the bottom. And we've got the Euro mesh, giving it this uh, much wider front grille. I think I prefer this one, to be honest. Uh, then we've got this one here, which gives it that um, Maserati look. You know the Maserati, is it Quattroporte? Uh, don't quote me on that one, which has this uh, 
sort of grill. Then we've got this one here where it's horizontal as opposed to vertical, and then drift bumper. But uh, this one's a little bit better. But honestly, I think I prefer just the standard one. This this sort of black um, grill theme. So that's a bit disappointing. But this painted one here has potential. Unless if we can make that a secondary color, of course. But I think this one's only got a primary color on it. Uh, but the drift bumper is also pretty cool. I'm not really too sure which one to select. So, I think right now I'm going to leave it on stock. But if you guys want to go ahead and spam the chat and let me know which one you guys prefer, uh, do so and I will go back and change it if you guys prefer another one. Uh, rear bumpers, okay, only one in this option, and that's the carbon bumper, which appears to give it that sort of um, banshee look. You know, the banshee's got this sort of uh, style to it. It's not that special, I guess. Can't say I'm a huge fan of that one. But I'll put it on anyway because uh, why not? Okay, engine upgrades. Let's put that exhaust. So we got the option. The exhaust are by here, by the way, which is uh, pretty cool. It's like on top of the car. Uh, so we got double exhaust. So we can replace that. What does it actually do then? Uh, it's gone. For, oh, it just changed. It just changed the uh, exhaust cover from black to uh, silver. Then we've got the uh, dual shotguns, which come down here, leaving the gaps by there. Then we got the custom shotgun exhausts. So, again, I think I prefer the stock one, but uh, we'll select the double exhaust right now. You guys are saying to go back to bumpers and select the drift one. Okay, you guys prefer it for some reason. Uh, there's a few stock ones coming in, nothing else. It's literally just drift or stock, but most of you guys are saying drift, so I have selected it just to keep you guys happy. Horn, we won't select that, there is no point. Headlights, let's go ahead and fit those. Neon kits. Uh, I won't put that on just yet because we don't know what color we're going to go for. Uh, plates, again, we'll go black to go with that uh, theme. We must be able to change the secondary color then. Let's have a look. Oh, we can. Okay. So we haven't got to keep this uh, black uh, theme by here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and change the primary first of all. So uh, scroll through. Imagine this might look good in like a light silver. But uh, we'll go through them all. Red also looks pretty good. What do you guys think? If you, got, if you guys have any suggestions uh, for colors, go ahead and comment. Got hot pink, of course. There's always some person that just selects hot pink because, you know, why not? Uh, orange also looks pretty good. What about yellow? Maybe yellow. Like a race yellow. Doesn't look too good in here, but I imagine when we go outside with the yellow and black, that could look pretty good. It's a shame this, this here is uh, like a pleasant more than a secondary color. That's ruining it right now, to be honest. Uh, but I might go with the race yellow. Uh, so I'm going to go for matte black. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of matte black cars when it comes to the sports and supercars. So uh, I can take a look for you guys, though. I'm sure I can do that. Lime green. Can't say I'm really fitting this car in lime green. Got the midnight blue. Let's keep scrolling down. Got ultra blue by there. Another good uh, looking ultra blue on that one. All the browns. Still really like brown. Purple. And then Ice White. Hmm, maybe Ice White on this one. Okay, let's have a look at what you guys are suggesting in the comments. We've got red, gold, blue, orange, literally just everything. Um, go for pink. Okay, we'll go through all the colors then. We'll go to matte. Someone said take a look. We'll, we'll start off at chrome, actually. Uh, then we'll go to uh, matte. Someone said try matte black. Can't say I'm a huge fan of uh, matte black, to be honest. Maybe like a matte white, like this. That looks pretty good, to be fair. Uh, we got red. And then we got oh lime green. This matte lime green looks pretty good. If we change the secondary to black, that could look really really cool. To be fair, uh, loads of you guys saying either lava red or lime green. So let's keep scrolling through. Let's go to uh, gold then. So I said try gold. So we'll do exactly that. Pure gold. I don't know what it is about gold cars. I'm not really a huge fan. They look much better in real life than they do in the game. It must be the reflection to them. There isn't like enough reflection for gold. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select. I know I'm not I'm not really feeling it that much, but I'm gonna go with an ice white uh, matte. And we're gonna change then the secondary color. I'm gonna try matte black. Let's take a look at that. That's what I'm feeling. I'm not 100% sure that looks all that good though, to be honest. Maybe go for a metallic. A metallic black. No, it looks it looks dreadful too. What if we keep that then? If we just, we set that to um, white, we go to matte whites maybe. 
That's white. That looks much, much better. Okay. So, unfortunately, I thought we were going to be able to, but we can't. We can't change any of these black panels, so that's a bit disappointing. Some colors won't work with this car, but uh, there we go. So, I've gone with uh, ice white as both primary and secondary. We cannot change uh, the trim color on this one, unlike the other one. Roof option. Oops. Uh, so, we've got the option to either fit a stock roof, which I'd imagine... Uh, most of the uh, the cars will come with when you first buy it. Uh, you can select no roof, or we can go with a custom roof. Does that mean we can take it down when we're driving along? I'm not too sure. Uh, I actually prefer it with a roof, to be honest, I think. I'll have to drive around and take a look, but I'm going to go with roof. But if you guys think I should take the roof off and leave it as a, uh, an open top, uh, let me know. But I think right now, where it looks, uh, what it looks like inside the custom shop, it's going to look better. The roof has a similar sort of uh, curvature to it as the uh, the Comet in game. Okay, skirts, we've got a carbon skirt, or we've got the uh, street skirt. I'm gonna go with a carbon one. I'm not a huge carbon fan, but seeing that we've got all these black panels around the car, that should go nicely with it. Uh, spoiler, we can put a low level one, which appears to just change the color of the spoiler. And that's a bit disappointing, to be honest. I was hoping we were gonna get something extra, maybe on top. So, should I leave that as white, or should I go with black? I think I'm going to leave it as, as standard, just as black. I don't think that spoiler option is really going to do too much for me. Uh, then the competitive suspension doesn't really do much either. Uh, race transmission, turbo of course, onto wheels. So let's take a look at the high-end ones first of all. What options have we got to select? I think something like this, maybe just the uh, chromatic Z, the OBS. Uh, maybe the cheetah wheels. Yeah, we'll go with the cheetah ones. Uh, the cheetah are, and then we'll go with uh, black alloys and tires. Of course, we're gonna put the custom tires on. No, we're not. Waterproof are already fitted, and it's white and black. We'll just leave it on white for now. And of course, finally, limo window tints. Okay, so there we go, guys. That is the got the name already the Fiesta 881 fully customized down at the custom shop uh, you guys were saying to remove the roof let me go back and just take a look now I finish customizing the car that's the roof option see we'll have to when we drive out we'll have to take the windows down hopefully that's gonna be an option otherwise it'll just look a bit strange with this open top but um, I'm gonna leave it with the roof on I think guys I know you guys are saying that I should take it off but I think I prefer it with the roof so uh, let's back out and take a look around. Okay. Uh, someone said rear bumpers. Uh, was that an option to change the color? I didn't see that. Okay, so I don't really like that that front bumper, by the way. The uh, drift bumper. It looks a lot like the, the bumper off the Massacre, I believe. Obviously, this chrome panel at the front uh, isn't, but otherwise it would be very, very similar. So let's go into first person and take a look around the car as it is now. It is a very attractive looking car in my opinion. It's a shame there aren't more crazy customization options though for this. Obviously they were a bit more than the uh, the prototypo, but not quite as much. Uh, you guys still put in suggestions for customization options and don't forget neon lights. I'm not going to do neon lights on this one. I'm not really a huge fan to be honest. Uh, we've got Banshee over there. But let's go and take a look at the interior then before I forget. And then we'll go for a quick drive around and move on to the third and final car. And then we'll do a comparison between all three. And uh, you guys can vote which one you guys prefer. It's a little small rear window by there. You can't really see anything out of it though. Uh, the visibility is slightly better than the Proto Tipo. And the interior seems to be pretty generic to some of the other vehicles in games. So nothing too special when it comes to the interior. It's not a Benny's car, so we can't do anything crazy to it and put some awesome bobbleheads in there and whatnot. Let's drive down to Franklin's Garage, and then we'll move on to the third and final vehicle. So, as I was saying, oops, as I was saying before, uh, this vehicle will cost around about 1.2 million dollars once it becomes available, and the customization options will probably take you up to about one and a half million or so. Oh, look at the flames coming out of that exhaust. That is. Awesome, and the brake lights too. Let's do it again, okay. Oh shit, you can see the flames literally go through that spoiler. Let's uh, speed up and then do it. Yeah, they go directly through the spoiler. I wonder if you can set your car on fire by doing that. That'd be extremely trippy. Okay, so let's drive 
down to the uh, garage where I can store it. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the final vehicle, the 770. If you guys want to check out the other one that I've customized already, the Grotti Proto Tippo, just go back in the live stream, you should be able to roll back, and you can take a look at that being fully customized. Of course, in literally just a few seconds, you're going to see it. But uh, if you want to see what it looks like whilst being customized, you can, of course, do so. So let's go ahead and park inside. Ooh, garage. Enter. Oh, if I... Reverse now. Hopefully this is not going to despawn. i got a feeling it's going to. Please don't despawn. Let's remove a vehicle and replace it. If it despawns, then that's going to be a little bit annoying, but what can I do? Okay, so let's take out this car right bit. Not the car, the bike. The uh, Batty801. Please, vehicle, don't despawn. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Please be there. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's just parked in the space by there. It's been a while since I've played story mode, so I've just forgotten how everything works. Okay. Oops. Not watching what I'm doing. Reading the chat. Seeing what you guys are suggesting. If you guys have any comments, of course, go ahead and... Uh, or questions, I, I mean. If you've got any questions, go ahead and leave them as a comment. Let me bring out this uh, Zentorno. We've got two in here. So when I bring the next car in, we can... Uh, Take it in straight away. Uh, someone asked how much is the Proto Tippo. Uh, it is going to cost $2,700,000, making it the most expensive vehicle that will be available in game. But according to stats in the game files, it will also become the fastest vehicle in game. I'm not sure by how much, maybe a second or so in a straight line. Let me go ahead and just change the uh, weather options to sunny because right now I'm not liking this. Extra sunny. And we'll make sure that it's permanently like that. It's supposed to be extra sunny, but the clouds are still out. Okay, let's move on to the 770 then. Car spawner, and where are you? There you are, 770. So this is a Dubaki, of course, being based upon Aston Martin. I'm not 100% sure which Aston Martin it is. I'm sure you guys will know, uh, but... It's, again, another very good-looking car. I love all three of these. Although I think out of the three, it's probably going to be my least favorite. But I'm not saying it because I don't like it. I do love this car. I think the front of this one especially is very, very good-looking. Uh, this one, this is what I was referring to before, has the least number of customization options for it. We'll get into it in a few moments' time. But unfortunately, we can't really change too much on the car itself. But then again, it's such a good looking car, I don't really want to change that much anyway. I like the front bumper, I like the hood, I like the uh, the side panels, with this sort of groove in the door. Um, the only thing that I really like, to be honest, are the, the back of the car. You, I don't think there are any spoiler options, but we'll soon find out when we drive down to the custom shop. And let's take a look at the interior as well, so you guys uh, can just view that. Go into first person, there we go. Okay, this one is... The most disappointing interior by the looks of things. Again, very generic, nothing special about this one. So let's drive down to the custom shop and get this thing all customized. Uh, you guys are asking a few questions. Somebody asked, how old are you? I am 20 years old now. Uh, someone said, why don't you go ahead and hit a stunt? If you guys want me to, once I've customized this one, I'll choose one of the cars, whichever one you guys prefer the most, and I'll try and do some stunts or something. And uh, then we'll do some shout-outs, because we aren't too far off the end of the live stream, unfortunately. So let's drive down to the custom shop. And we'll be there very, very shortly. Hmm, this car does sound good, but I recognize the sound. It might be uh, a similar sound to one of the existing Dubakis, so I don't think it's new. Uh, somebody asked how much did this car cost? Well, it's a sports car, so straight away I'm sure you guys can imagine it's going to be cheaper out of all of them. It's going to cost, I think it's $695,000. So it's, yes, the cheapest out of them all. And I think it's the ro most reasonably priced too. Obviously the other two are very good cars, but this, for what you're getting, I don't think it's really up there in the terms of its performance and its speed. But it's such a good looking car that... For me, $700,000 is a very good price for this. Let's drive inside. In and let's go ahead and customize it. Okay, repair vehicle. Let's start off with armor. Like I said, I think this one has the least number of customization options for it. It's got all the generic stuff. The armor, the engine, the brakes, stuff like that. Uh, but in terms of custom stuff, so we've got the exhausts. So we've got, at the moment we've got quad exhausts. 
The uh, titanium ones are these sort of oval things which look pretty disgusting, not going to lie. And then we've got these uh, oval exhausts, which are pretty cool too. I think I actually prefer the stock ones, but we're going to go with the oval one. Then headlights, we'll go ahead and put some xenons on. I might put a, a neon kit on this one if you guys want me to, but we'll come back to that in a few moments' time once it's customized. Um, I always go with the black license plate, and I hate it to be honest, so we'll just leave the standard one on. Uh, respray, okay, so we're already on respray, that's how few customizations this car has. Uh, so there's only one color option, so by the looks of things we won't be able to change the roof unless there's a customization option for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at metallic. Which color do you guys think I should select on this car? I've got a feeling this will look good in maybe a red or a light green. We're already onto red. Actually, I'm not really too sure. Red doesn't look all that good. Acid Martin are usually sort of silvery cars, aren't they? So I don't think we're going to be choosing a bright color for this one. Hot pink, orange, maybe orange. I did a video yesterday on this car, uh, or something very similar to this at least. And uh, orange did look good, so I'm going to select orange. But we'll just keep on scrolling in case I see something else. Race yellow doesn't look too bad either. But uh, I'm not a a huge fan on it, so we'll keep on scrolling. You guys are saying go for black, try yellow, lime green. We'll be on lime green shortly, so we'll take a look at lime green. Lime green, there we go. Okay, uh, honestly, I'm not really feeling this one. Still, I'm, I'm preferring orange, uh, but keep on suggesting colors and I'll try them out. Someone said blaze red, orange is definitely the best. I think so too. Let's have a look at uh, ultra blue. Again, not really feeling that one. This car seems to be one of those that doesn't really look great in a huge selection. The sort of dull colors. Uh, maybe this would look good in black. Maybe white too. Yes, that looks good in white. Uh, black. I'm not really a huge fan of black cars, to be honest. So, yeah, like a, a black steel here, or maybe a dark steel. That looks pretty good. But, uh, I don't know whether I should select it or not. Leave it on orange. So I want something nice and bright, you know, not boring. So we'll leave it on this one now. We'll leave it on, for, uh, on orange and uh, we'll move on. Okay, skirts. So we've got the option to fit a custom skirt or a carbon skirt. We've already got a few black panels on the car, so let's select carbon. Spoiler. Oh, we do have the option for spoiler. I thought we didn't, but I'm wrong. So we can fit uh, this one here, the low-level spoiler, or we've got the option for the high-level spoiler. Not a huge difference, maybe just a few inches and slightly bigger. It is slightly bigger, yes. Uh, carbon wing. That just looks out of place, to be honest. And then finally, we've got the carbon wing 2, which just makes it even taller. Um, don't really like any of these. It probably looks better as standard, to be honest. But I'm going to go for now with the low-level spoiler. But if you guys think I should select a different one, again, go and comment, and I will change it. Suspension, let's make that lowered. Transmission, let's go with the race transmission, turbo, and wheels... We'll go for a set. This is a sport car. So we'll go with uh, some sport ones. Uh, right. Okay. Let's scroll through them all. Not really a huge fan of any of the sport wheels, to be honest. But we'll take a look and see what we've got. Uh, maybe the S racer ones. We'll set those to black. Buy those for now. I can always change it. The issue is with some of these, like they aren't too bad. When you go ahead and change the wheel color, you've still got this silver um, sort of outer ring by here, which I think just ruins it overall. But uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it on, on the S Racer ones for now. Something which I always select. And we'll go ahead and put black on. Tires, we will put the uh, custom tires on this time. They're already bulletproof. And we will, of course, select orange as our tire smoke. And then finally, of course, windows. We'll set those to limo. So they go with the, uh, the rest of the car. So there we go. That is the car fully customized. Uh, going back to the comments right now, you guys are saying leave it on stock rims. They're much better. Uh, Mac Ray for a paint job would look much better. Uh, we'll go and take a look at Mac Ray, actually, because, uh, like I said, gray seems to be the color for this car. So we'll take a look at Mac Ray. Uh, gray doesn't look too bad, to be honest. But, again, it just looks too similar to black. So I'm going to leave it on the orange. Let's back out then of the custom shop, have a quick drive around, make my way back down to the garage, and then you guys can decide which one out of the three cars featured in this live stream is your favorite. 
we'll go a different way this time. We've gone the same way both times, so we'll go in this direction. We're into first person, why not? I do love playing in first person. Obviously driving it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's nice to have that feature. It's another very good looking car. I just love all three of them. There aren't words, enough words in the English dictionary to even describe how much I love some of these cars. Let's keep on driving. We'll go past the maze bank, I think. Or am I on the wrong I'm on the wrong road. Okay. We'll go over here. We'll do the um, the drop off up by here, by the maze bank. Then we'll go back to the garage and we'll do some uh, selections. You guys can tell me which one you like the most. And uh, I will then drive that around for a while and then do some shout outs. That sounds good. Okay, so let's do this jump right by here. It should go into slow motion if I'm correct. Oh, shit. What did I just do then? I was doing a 360 flip. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, I think by the looks of things, I just hit the traffic cones and it has completely ruined that jump. But uh, we landed it. That was uh, a bit disappointing. I didn't realize those traffic cones were solid objects in story mode. Okay, we'll make our way back to the garage. Uh, somebody asked, how did you get these online? This is not online, this is story mode. Uh, I'm using mods to get these in the game. They're unavailable right now, but they will be sometime soon. When that is, of course, is still unknown. Okay, let's continue on. We are fairly close to the garage right now. This direction. Getting very, very close. Uh, I can see you guys are already suggesting which one you like the most. I can see you guys suggesting the prototypo already. That seems to be dominating the chat. But right now, go ahead. I'm going to go into my garage. Tell me which one you like out of the three vehicles customized. Not based upon their customizations. Mainly, just which one you guys like the most. Uh, just overall, which car you guys like the most out of these three. So, let's go through all, all three of them again. Oh, for some reason the interior color for uh, this car right by here has gone from ultra blue back to red. That's a bit strange. And the ascent color has also changed. You guys saw me do that like half an hour ago. Changed that to uh, blue. But for some reason it's gone back. But anyway, that is the... Uh, Prototipo there, the grotty Prototipo. By the way, the red panels and stuff, like I said, are supposed to be ultra blue, but uh, for some reason it's gone back. Some form of bug, maybe. Uh, then we've got this car right by here, the Fista 881, another very good looking car. And finally, the one we just customized, the Dubaki 770. So, give me guys a quick rundown on all three cars again. So, the Prototipo is going to cost $2,700,000. It is based upon a selection of different cars, I'm not entirely sure which ones. And it's going to become the fastest car in game according to the stats. I think it's going to have the highest top speed and I'd imagine it'll have a very good acceleration too. Uh, then as for the uh, Fista 881, that of course being based upon the Porsche 918 and the Porsche Carrera GT. And that's going to cost $1,200,000. And then finally, the Dubaki 770, this is going to cost $695,000, and it's based upon some form of Aston Martin, I'm not exactly sure which model. Taking a look at the chat right now, you guys are saying, actually a huge selection, uh, mostly Prototipo seems to be you, uh, your favourite, and to be fair, it probably is my favourite too, only because of how aggressive and how different and unique this car looks, so it is a very awesome car. But uh, I think my second one would be this one, the Fista 881. But then I'm not saying that this one is far behind. The Dubaki is probably only a little bit, maybe like 0.1 behind out of 10. Uh, if I was to rate them out of 10, I'd probably say 9 out of 10 for this one uh, by here, the Prototipo. It needs a few extra customization options. I'm not really too sure what I would change, but I wish Rocks that would make it more customizable. Uh, then for this car, the Fista 881, I'd probably say maybe 8 out of 10, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe 7.5 for the uh, the Dubaki, not quite point one less, but you know, it's certainly up there. Okay, so you guys want me to go ahead and drive the Prototipo with its Goldwing doors. I'm going to very, very quickly uh, drive back to the custom shop and change the interior color and the accent color, because uh, I want those to be blue. For some reason, they've... Uh, They've gone to red, which is a little bit strange, but uh, it must be just some form of bug in story mode. Obviously, we aren't supposed to have these vehicles in story mode for starters, so it's certainly understandable. Look at the flames coming out the back. 
look at that. That's so cool. Ooh, smashing into all the signs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drive this around the map for a while. Uh, one of you guys wanted me to, oh, there's actually quite a few of you guys, asked me to go ahead and try some stunts out. We'll just do some of the stunt ramps, stuff like that. Uh, nothing too crazy. I'm not the best when it comes to stunting and, and race car driving and stuff like that, but... We'll spend about 10 minutes or so on that, and then of course we will do some shout outs. So stay tuned, guys, and if you want to be mentioned in this live stream, I will do so shortly. That isn't your cue, by the way, to um, just spam the chat with shout out just yet. Uh, there are mixed opinions on this one. I know loads and loads of you guys, probably about 80%, love this car. They think it's uh, really attractive, but uh, unfortunately, there's a few people saying the car is ugly. Oh, you just saw me then? Uh, you saw the, as I broke, uh, the rear brakes, and it, by the looks of things, it's independent. So as you turn, the right one lifts up slightly, and as I go left, it uh, lifts up the rear spoiler. Hopefully you can see that in the live stream. And as I brake, obviously both do. So that's a really cool feature, just in case uh, you didn't notice that. But let's drive back to the custom shop, change those colors. I've turned all the cars and pedestrians off, but for some reason, some still spawn in. Please move. He's out of the way. There we go. Just drive straight into the custom shop and change that color. Okay. Uh, somebody said it's based upon a, a concept Formula One car. That sounds about right. Some form of track car, at least. It's so low down to the ground, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, let's go to the respray. Let's first of all change trim to ultra blue. Where are you? There you are, ultra blue, and we'll go back to, I think I selected like a light blue for the uh, accent color. So light blue, oh we'll just go with light blue for now, it doesn't really matter that much. Let's back out, okay, so there we go. Uh, somebody said the back of the car is ugly. Uh, I'm not saying that it's the most attractive thing in the world, but it's just got one of those very cool and unique looks. So uh, we'll do that jump right by there. It's not really much of a stunt, but we'll do it anyway. Hopefully, we aren't going to be uh, blocked off by any traffic cones. So we just go ahead and uh, check. Got a feeling they're going to be there. No, they're not. Nice and slow. Look at this car. I love it so, so much. Those wheels, too, are so cool. Some flames spitting out the back. There we go. We completed that one. Uh, someone said it's based upon the Ferrari F80 concept. Hopefully that's true. Oh yeah, now that I've got it in game, um, I can actually uh, show you guys the speed. Let me just teleport down to the uh, the airport actually and show you guys that speed. Just to show you how fast this thing actually is. Unfortunately, I can't do like a speed comparison because I haven't got a second player because this is a story mode mod. But let's uh, start by here. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so it's taken off. I don't know whether that's quick or, or slow. It does look pretty quick. I imagine about now it'd probably be just ahead of the T20. And around about now, of course, the adder starts to catch up with the T20. But this thing is much faster than the adder, so we would finish in first. And I'd expect that for $2,700,000. The thing is, now this is like fastest in all categories. I'm not too sure it's like when it comes to handling. I'd imagine pretty good. It's not too bad, yes. So in races, if people have this car and have it selected, then I'm not really too sure how other cars in the category are going to compete. If it's faster, it's got a better acceleration rate, whether it's good at cornering, that would be really disappointing for other people that have got other really cool cars and couldn't afford this one. Okay, so let's, uh, there's a really cool ramp by here, yeah, we'll go over the really cool ramp nearby and uh, just show you guys what it looks like again in slow motion. There it is, coming up to it. If I hit this one on point, there we go. Oh, we didn't go into slow motion like we usually do when hitting one of these ramps. Never mind. It's going to land on the building. I think Franklin just said screw this. Even he didn't like that stunt. There's one ramp over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And uh, then we will do some shoutouts. Oops. This stream was only supposed to be about half an hour long. It's taken me a bit longer to customize these cars than I intended. 
we are almost there. We still have 1,200 people watching the stream, so hello to everybody who has tuned in. Hopefully I can get through all the, uh, the shout-outs I can. Uh, right now, we're only at 500 likes. If you guys could help me out to reach my goal of 1,000, that would be greatly appreciated. So if you haven't liked the live stream already, please do. I haven't actually asked at all yet in the past hour, so I'm doing pretty good. But if you could help me out, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, here we go. Let's do this ramp. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And if you guys have any questions, I will answer those before the stream ends too, about these cars or anything in general. Here we go. Oh, this one didn't go in slow motion either. That was a bit disappointing. Well, there we go. Hopefully we land this one perfectly. Not quite, but I'll do. Uh, somebody asked when are these cars going to be released. Unfortunately, I don't have any inside information on that one. I'm guessing it'll probably be uh, just like the Lowriders Custom Classic cars, like the Sabre Turbo, the Minivan. It'll be one per week, probably next month, uh, alongside some special event weeks. But, like, I don't really know. I guess we'll have to wait and find out on that one. Uh, somebody said, yes, we can do a thousand likes. That would be awesome if we could, guys. Uh, we're not too far away, so if you could like the live stream, it would be greatly appreciated. And hopefully, either tomorrow... Or it'll be Saturday, depending on whether it's working or not. I'm going to be giving away some shark cards over on the Fan Messenger app. If you haven't signed up already, I would recommend that you do so. I've been giving out quite a few shark cards. Well, it was last weekend now. Uh, I gave out a few million dollar worth. Uh, I think it was three and a half million dollar ones. Yes, I gave out four in total. So sign up to that. I can send you guys text messages with uh, shark cards, other giveaways, announcements, and stuff like that. So uh, go ahead and do that. I definitely recommend doing so. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for this live stream, guys. I think it's time to go and do some shout-outs. There isn't really much more to be said now uh, about these three cars, other than I love all three of them, and I cannot wait for them to be released. And of course, once I have some more information on them, I will notify you guys in a video. So let's do some shout-outs then. Okay, so shout-out to Sky Gamer, shout-out to Sander, shout-out to Andreas, shout-out to Squid Nuggets, shout-out to Fred, Shout out to Sander, shout out to Nathan, shout out to Mike, shout out to Ivo, shout out to Nick, shout out to the Guy Productions. It's so hard to drive around and do shout outs, so we just go ahead and stop for a moment, do some more, drive around a bit. Like, I always get distracted. I do shout outs and think I can drive and then realize I can't look at both monitors at the same time. But uh, shout out to FC KFC, uh, Kiev. KFC, got there eventually. Uh, shout out to Daniel, shout out to Julian, shout out to... I'm doing it again. I'm, I said I wasn't going to drive, and then I start driving. I need to stop that. Okay, let's try this again. Shout out to Bat, shout out to Mike, shout out to Cooper, shout out to Jesse, uh, shout out to uh, Gabriel, shout out to Hugo, shout out to uh, Ruthless, shout out to Jeremy, shout out to Batman, shout out to Boss, shout out to New World, shout out to Xavier, shout out to Shane, shout out to Omar, shout out to Jerick, shout out to Ali, shout out to Mate, shout out to Lucas, shout out to Ryan, shout out to Martin, shout out to Alex, shout out to Sam, shout out to Tom, shout out to Kanye, shout out to question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, shout out to Jimmy, shout out to Martin, shout out to JFC, I believe that was. Uh, shout out to Killer, shout out to Mr. Pro Gamer, shout out to Drifter, shout out to By uh, J something, I believe it was. Uh, shout out to Adam, shout out to Assassin, shout out to Beck, shout out to Cryptic, shout out to Sureg. I've done it again, I'm doing shout outs, and my hands just go onto the keyboard and the mouse, and they just start doing things. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Like, it's so weird, it's like instinct, uh, instinctive, yeah. Shout out to Smith, shout out to Kay, shout out to Ruth, shout out to Andrew, shout out to Kay, shout out to Jack, shout out to, uh, I can't even read that name, sorry, shout out to Polaroids, shout out to Martin, shout out to Daniel, shout out to Ghost, shout out to Zyro, shout out to Magnum, shout out to Alex, shout out to Drew, shout out to Deadpool, shout out to Jazz, shout out to Freds, shout out to XX, something xx shout out to mally shout out to jeremy shout out to its ghost shout out to uh cjc shout out to smithy shout out to uh dr dude shout out to uh nando shout out to magnum shout out to pro gaming shout out to io productions shout out to uh, brb shout out to douglas shout out to jacob shout out to 
Uh, Jordan, shout out to the BG Gamer 97. I thought my PC froze then because everything stopped, but the chat does that sometimes. I get the lags a little bit and not all the comments come through. I'm waiting for my PC to overheat because I can I can hear the fans. I can sense the heat on my leg. They must be so so warm. Uh, shout out to the King Drop. Shout out to Akib. Shout out to TYS. Shout out to Hesse. Shout out to OI. Shout out to Sylvia. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Martin. Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to HH. Shout out to Toby. Shout out to George, shout out to the Fantasy, shout out to Ryan, shout out to Chrome, shout out to Vortex, shout out to Drill, shout out to Kenny, shout out to Spy, shout out to Martin, shout out to uh, I Nameless, shout out to uh, Vortex, shout out to Cloud, shout out to Cooper, shout out to Dead, shout out to uh, Thomas, shout out to Cody. I'm going to do five more because right now I'm seeing the same names over and over again. You guys are really spamming the chat. We've still got a thousand people watching, uh, so and we've only got 700 likes. So there must be 300 people at least watching the stream that haven't liked it. If you guys could, that would be greatly appreciated. You don't have to, but it would be awesome if we could smash a thousand likes. Uh, let's do five more then. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to uh, Martin. Shout out to... I should have Martin to like five shout outs now. Uh, shout out to Jake, shout out to Fallen Angel, shout out to Andrew, shout out to Eric, and one more, shout out to Connor. Okay, there we go. Apologies if I have not given you a shout out. I've done my best to do as many as possible, but literally I am seeing so many names right now, most of them being the same ones I've already said, I think. So apologies if I haven't given you a shout out. Just tune into my next live stream. I will be streaming again tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a car show tomorrow, and like I said, hopefully I'll be doing a giveaway too. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this. Uh, you guys are awesome, and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video and live stream. Goodbye.